good morning students we are going to discuss about q12 coordinated check pointing algorithm so it is one of the example for check pointing algorithm coordinated check pointing algorithm so the main thing is a coordinated check pointing and recovery technique it takes a consistent set of check pointing and it avoids the domino effect and live lock problems during the recovery process so this algorithm comprises two parts one is the check pointing algorithm and the other one is recovery algorithm so we are going to see two algorithms separately so the first one is check pointing algorithm so what are all the assumptions we have made means here we use fifo channel and the end to end protocol and we assume that the communication failures do not partition the network and the single process initiates this coordinated check pointing algorithm and during the execution of this algorithm no process gets failed they are the assumptions we have made before starting the algorithm so here we go with two kinds of check point permanent check point and the other one is tentative check point so what is permanent check point means it is a local check point it is a part of consistent global check point what is our aim we have to form a consistent set of check point okay so this permanent check point is a part of consistent global check point so the other check point is tentative check point it is a temporary check point when it becomes permanent check point means when the algorithm terminates successfully this tentative check points becomes the permanent check point so here we have two phases in the first phase the initiating process takes the tentative check point after taking the tentative check point it sends the request message to all the other processes in the system so after receiving the tentative check point request message all the processes are not allowed to send any messages every process cannot send messages after taking the tentative check point once the tentative check point is taken by the process okay, you cannot send any other messages either all processes agree to take the check points or otherwise all the processes discards the request do or discard that is the output of the first phase in the second phase all the processes will receive the final decision from the initiating process and it acts according to the final decision which is received by the initiating process why this algorithm is correct algorithm why it is called as uh, correct algorithm means here either all the processes takes the permanent check point otherwise none of the processes takes the check point and each process is not allowed to send any message after taking the permanent check point how can we improve this algorithm so you can absolutely improve the algorithm by minimizing the check point counts so the second algorithm is roll back recovery algorithm the benefit of the aim of this roll back recovery algorithm is to restore the say to restore the system state to a consistent state once the system faces the failure here also we have made some assumptions the single initiator initiates the algorithm and the check point and roll back recovery algorithms are not invoked concurrently that is the important assumption okay both the algorithms should not be executed concurrently so here also we have two phases in roll back recovery algorithm in the first phase like a check pointing algorithm the initiating process send a message to all the other process and ask for the preferences for roll back recovery and it ask the preferences to restore to the previous check point 
either all processes should agree with this otherwise all the processes should not agree with restoring process so the decision is made by the initiating process in the second phase that final decision is delivered to all the other processes and they act accordingly so that's about ku and to checkpointing algorithm so this is an example for ku and to checkpointing algorithm so whenever the failure occurs before the failure occurs uh, checkpointing algorithm takes the checkpoints and uh, after the failure occurs you have to restore the system back to a consistent state so thank you